Hey guys and welcome to our very 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 first real vlog about uh, our projects and things we built so bear with me it's not gonna be perfect but we do our best so as a first uh, project we're gonna build a handheld gimbal to get some stable footage from my GoPro and I'm planning to repurpose my old uh, drone it uh, has a gimbal so uh, I want to remove this and uh, 3D print a, a handheld device where I can attach the gimbal and make it portable. So let's start with taking the gimbal of the drone and break it up in pieces that we can use in our gimbal project. So for the 3D printed frame, um, I needed to go left 5.5 cm to clear the back motor and then I have to drop down 7 cm to uh, go past the motor without touching it and then I can make a 45 degree bend to the, the handle and the battery pack. So the battery is a 3S uh, 2.7 amp hour lipo battery so I have to uh, design a case that can hold the battery and protect it if you drop it or okay this is the model I made it's just quick and dirty it's just a frame to hold the gimbal mount nothing fancy just quick and dirty this is the battery frame there's two holes to, uh, to screw it all together. The frame will print about 3-4 hours at uh, 91 cents on filament use, so it's, it's not, not too bad. Also the, the battery model and battery housing will print in about uh, 3 hours and 11 minutes at 80 cents on filament use. Both my printers are running now. Uh, in the meantime, I uh, recovered an old XT60 connector from the drone so I didn't have to buy a new one and I can uh, carry purpose this one next is the assembly for the kit so let's start by gluing the control board to the frame my trusty CA glue CA glue in gel form, perfect for printed parts. Well, we have to wait a few seconds. Five minutes later. So now the glue is dry, so we can start by mounting the gimbal itself. And when it's all done, we can start hooking up the wires again. Mm. Uh. 
so tiny. Perfect fit. This is also a nice snug fit. Maybe a little tape to hold it a little better. But I made a mistake, a stupid mistake. I want to use screws to attach the frame to the battery body. But when I use a screw in this, it will go straight into the battery. So I can only use one screw and for the rest I use glue to secure it. Now we give it some time to dry. Five minutes later. So next I'm gonna glue the connector onto the frame. So when I insert the battery, I can easily connect it. So my trusty glue. So now we're gonna attach and extend the wires from the controller to the connector. Maybe if I ever make a version 2, I will make a hollow tube to run the wires. So. Pick then the connectors, then the wires, green to positive. Don't worry, I will insulate them later. But for testing purpose. So will it work or will it bang? Ow! Damn, the solder was hot. Hmm, no response. No, God, please, no, no! Hmm, I'll be back in a moment. Let's uh, find out why. Five minutes later. Just kidding, just kidding. I know there's some small faulty connector in here. So I fixed it and now it's it's working. So when I hook up the power, there it is. Okay, so the product is finished now and as a demonstration I'm recording this as we speak and I can move the, the, the handle from back and forth sideways but the camera will stay focused on my on my head it tries to fight the, 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 the movement so yeah it, it seems it seems pretty stable <laughs> 